When I first started doing this show, there were tons of people speculating that I keel over on air with months. Just too high energy. Sorry to disappoint. But man, if I were betting against my own longevity, you know what? There are four weeks of the year where I would put my money on. And those are the four hardest weeks of earnings season when we hear from nearly all the big cap tech companies, like next week. Teddy gave us a clue of how the market might react with the Dow advancing 29 points, S&P gaining 0.25%, but the tech-heavy Nasdaq jumping 0.95%. Driven by an immense and, frankly, bizarre amount of short covering, traders who bought stock to close out their bets on once high-flying stocks, lest they be crushed. This time, Wall Street reacted positively to the companies that reported excellent earnings rather than freaking out over some strong macro data, as they call it, this morning. This suggests the economy might be too hot. We do have a Fed meeting next Wednesday, but in a bold change of thought, this market's now reacting more to individual companies than to Fed speculation, in part because they believe the Fed might be done with gigantic rate hikes and will become less intrusive when we try to pick stocks. Wouldn't that be fabulous? So let's drill down to the game plan for next week to find out what is going on. All right, now Monday, placidity reigns. That's right. Monday begins benignly enough with Whirlpool and NXP. That's the semiconductor company after the close. I think Whirlpool will talk about supply constraints running the course, but we'll also probably hear about a more frugal consumer slowing housing. housing. Suboptimal. NXP, company makes chips for the auto industry. Today, one-time semiconductor kingpin Intel reported horrendous earnings. Normally, that would have brought down the entire group, including this one. But money managers are getting wise to that action, so they use the weakness to buy the stock of NXP, which costs up about a buck and a half. I bet that bullishness continues. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.